our industry needs an ambitious global regulatory framework. We don't compete on a level playing field right now. That's where regulations come in, so that we can ensure that there's fair competition across the industry. We compete with a hundred year old fossil industry and from more or less from overnight we should be competitive in terms of our price and scale. The biggest challenge on pricing is that green fuels are much more expensive than conventional fuel. Right now it's a little bit of a mess because there's no uniform rule set. Reaching net zero greenhouse emission requires innovation, commitment, investment and collaboration. No one can do this alone. Shipping is the backbone of global trade, moving the goods that keep our world connected. But this essential lifeline comes at a significant cost, greenhouse gas emissions. Today, global logistics account for nearly 11% of all greenhouse gas emissions, a substantial challenge in the fight against climate change. At Maersk, we recognize the urgent need to reduce these emissions and lead the way towards a more sustainable future. This creates a real need for us to lean into the challenge of the energy transition. At Maersk, we pride ourselves about being part of the solution. With the ultimate goal of achieving net zero emission across our entire business in 2040. In 2021, we took the first bold step towards our net zero target by ordering the first green methanol enabled ship that joined our fleet already last year. The 4th of April 2023 marked a historic milestone and an important step towards reducing emissions in shipping. Yeah! The world's first methanol container vessel, Laura Maersk, was launched and floated out of the dry dock in Olsen, Korea. This first methanol vessel set off a domino effect across the industry, triggering multiple vessel orders using the same technology and sending a strong signal to fuel producers policymakers and across the whole ecosystem that the energy transition of the sector is well on its way. But this process is complex. The shipping industry is crucial to the global economy and its transformation is essential for decarbonizing logistics. Commitments from industry leaders and customers are key to this transition. To further our own journey, we are relying on the whole ecosystem from fuel producers to policymakers and those that are the starting point of everything that we do, our customers. Many of them are willing to co-lead the efforts that we undertook in order to reach their own ambitious target emission, such as Inditex and Novo Nordisk. Our strategy is absolutely to change the traditional fuels, the conventional fuels, by biosustainable fuels and we are absolutely committed with the strategy of MERS. 90% of all our sea freight will uh, use eco-delivery in 2025. In Novo Nordisk, we have ambitious targets, uh, and in order to achieve those targets, uh, we need innovation. And for us, it's important to partner up uh, with, uh, with other companies that share the same ambitions, uh, that share the same eagerness uh, to innovate and, uh, and the same values. We very much rely on partnership with other companies like Maersk in order for us to achieve our environmental goals. At Maersk, we have set the net zero target by 2040. We are ramping up the green fuel sourcing for our business. Uh, and we have a big network uh, of suppliers that we're working with globally. We're also working with our customers to make sure that we can deliver the products that they need to uh, decarbonize their supply chains. And these two ends needs to meet uh, in order for us to sort of fully accelerate decarbonization. I don't think we can stress enough the importance of long-term partnerships here. This goes for fuel providers, technology infrastructure providers, customers and regulators. That is really the key ingredient to making this transition happen. We have the obligation to deal with the big things, because we can. Moving big things to zero. Today our partnership with Maersk is all about decarbonization. In 2021, Maersk, they put out down a large order of uh, T95 methanol engines for 16,000 TU container ships at MAN Energy Solutions. We actually think that the future fuel mix will be diverse, that there will be a competition between the prices of different fuels, taking into account the legislation, so that the ship owner he can decide which fuel gives him the best competitive edge.
So first of all, uh, it's a new market and it's also a new technology. So we have both to invent the market and the technology, uh, more or less in parallel. And that is what we have done over the last three years. Uh, we have found very good customers and we have also in-house developed the necessary technology to deliver methanol to our customers. The partnership with Merck has been vital for the entry for us in the e-methanol uh, business. Merck was open for a fixed price long-term contract and that is exactly what we need. Uh, to start both the development uh, of this new technology but also to the construction of the facility. Right now is quite challenging environment because green fuels are much more expensive than uh, conventional fuels. We really need uh, firm support from regulation and also working with our customers to be able to close this cost gap be between conventional and green fuels. The commitment of Inditex for the coming years is to reduce the emissions in till 2030 in a 50% and then in the next 10 years to arrive to the zero emissions. We need the collaboration of all the stakeholders because otherwise it would be impossible. So Novo Nordisk, we have a target of being net zero in 2045. Uh, the operation part is more within our own control, whereas the, the transportation part, we very much rely on partnership, like the partnership we have uh, with Maersk. So one of the main challenges we face today is this lack of uh, level playing field that we have right now. And the only way to address that is actually with global regulations and a greenhouse gas strategy. Today, it is our customers that have to pay for the substantial price difference there is between green and fossil fuels. And without regulation, we will not be able to close the cost gap between conventional and green fuels. It's a tricky formula where we need to do everything. We need to invent a new technology, you need to have scale. Without scale, you cannot bring down the cost. The market will not really take off if the price point is too high. So all this in combination can only be solved by the regulator. Setting step-by-step -step demands, kick-starting the market. That is the whole trick. And there's the regulator come into play. So the shipping industry, so Mask along with all our peers, came together and put forward a proposal at the International Maritime Organization. This proposal aims to close the price gap between green fuels and fossil fuels and actually making these competitive, which is not only good for climate, but really makes a lot of sense from a commercial perspective as well. We call on all the state members of the IMO to take that decision and give that regulatory framework now, so that this industry is no longer part of the climate problem, but becomes a really good part of the solution.